Well, that was absolutely buzzing, wasn't it, everybody? Hope you're all doing all right. And I, you must be doing after that performance and result. United have beaten RB Leipzig five goals to nil to continue our perfect start in this season's Champions League in the so-called group of death, which now United top by a clear three points after two games. So we're going to get back into that. We're going to look at the game. Bang a like on the video if you're absolutely buzzing and if Marcus Rashford should be knighted at this stage. And also hit that subscribe button if you are new. But yeah, so like I say, five goals to nil. I mean, the game itself, I mean, we look back at the, the starting eleven. I think everyone was a bit surprised that we went with a bit of a different formation that we hadn't seen before. It looked like we were going with a diamond and that's exactly what we went with, with Donny van der Beek up at the top end of it with Pogba there as well alongside Matic and Fred and everyone was surprised with it but it absolutely worked to perfection. Leipzig as you'd expect they came out they were pressing us but we dealt well with it in the early stages and in the early stages we actually looked more dangerous because of that diamond. Van der Beek was getting involved, Martial was getting involved, Greenwood was getting involved, Pogba looked lively and that's when we took the lead through Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood's finish with an excellent, excellently timed run that was not offside in any way, shape or form. Um, but yeah, fantastic play from Pogba to find him as well. And what a finish when Greenwood gets put in that position. Like I said, there's a bit of a lengthy check then for offside. Is it offside? I'm edging towards yes, but that's only because... They're getting out the protractors and having a look at it. To me, if you have to, if you have to do that, if you have to get out the protractors and measure it and draw the lines, to me that's not offside, because the advantage I was always brought up with the advantage goes to the forward. Thankfully, that was what happened in this case at least, or it looked that way. And United got that one nil lead. After that, United struggled to keep hold of the ball, to be honest. And Leipzig really started pressing and really started getting men further forward and United whilst we didn't give any chances up we did look a bit on the back foot we, we, we weren't able to keep possession from Leipzig and like I say they forced the issue by by getting more men forward getting up Meccano on the ball and getting him driving through the through the thirds which I thought he looked great doing that up Meccano um so yeah towards the back end of the half it looked we weren't necessarily hanging on but we needed to keep possession better in the second half. Second half, that didn't really happen, although we still stemmed any sort of real guilt-edge opportunities for Leipzig. And then the cha the real turning point in the game, I think, came around about the hour mark when Oli made his substitutions. Now, again, this is an area that a lot of people, myself included, have slagged Oli off at times that he's got the substitutions wrong on several occasions. I've started to see the last few games, the Newcastle game, the PSG game, even the Chelsea game, and this game, his substitutions have changed the game for the better for Manchester United because on came Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford and they lit up the place. Bruno Fernandes looked hungry, looked like he wanted to get on. He, he was... He was he, did, he was playing on cruise control almost, Bruno Fernandes. Picking out passes that nobody could see. And that's what led to the second goal. Marcus Rashford bombing in behind because they pushed so many so far up the pitch, Leipzig, that there was the entire half to run into. The liner, for some reason, put up his flag. Rashford did the right thing, went through, slotted it past the goalkeeper. And then, thankfully, VAR came and checked this one as well as, uh, again... And rightfully saw that he started his run in his own half, gave the gave the goal, but that's where I think the bit of confusion can come because it's only through Rashford's Rashford's ability and his and his and his temperament that he went forward and put the goal the ball in the back of the net. Nine players out of ten would have stopped when they saw the line of flag, and it would have been incorrect. So I think there's issues there that need to be looked at, but Rashford. Flawless, and then I mean, he just kept, he just kicked on. Rashford, he, he's getting to such an elite level now. Got his second 
by, I think it was Hasselin, up a Meccano off the ball, which is not an easy task, given the size of him at the back, and then ran through again, coolness personified, slots it past the goalkeeper again, two goals out of two shots, and he only came on two or three minutes prior to those two. I mean, he almost had an hat trick before he actually got the hat trick, where he literally sat about four Leipzig players on their arse. I mean, he's sitting Tories down on their arse away from football, and he's sitting opposition defenders down on their arse when he sticks to his day job, as they like to call it, the Tories. And if not for a block, that could have easily been his hat trick, and it would have been a phenomenal goal. It could have been goal of the season if that had gone in. Um, United then got a penalty. Um, trying to think how they got the penalty now. I think it was Martial, I think it was, who was brought down. Ball played into him. Couldn't get it out from under his feet. And he was brought by, down by Sabitzer, I think it was. And Rashford, fair play to him, had the opportunity to get his, his, his hat-trick from the penalty spot and gave it to Tony Martial, who slotted it in. And that is a goal that Martial needed because... This was his 11th game, I think it was, for club and country without scoring. And he's not hit the ground running as far as in the, in getting the ball in the back of the net this season. So he needed that goal to get that off his back. And then, thankfully, Rashford did tie up his tie up his, um, his hat trick. I can't remember the ball, how he, the ball found its way to him. But the finish for that third goal, I mean, I was always one that said Rashford wasn't a elite finisher. I am being firmly told to shut the fuck up because three sh he had four shots. He only came on 20 minutes to go. He had four shots and three of them went in the back of the net. Frighteningly good efficiency from Marcus Rashford. And like I say, he's got an MBE. Oh, when's the knighthood coming? That's what I want to know because this, this kid... This man is maturing in front of our eyes and I can't be any more proud to have a player and a, and a man like him at our football club. And not only at our football club, leading this football club. Fantastic stuff for Marcus. And it's just a shame that United fans weren't there because it would have been, he'd have got a massive reception from United to, all season, but especially tonight. Um, but touching on that efficiency... That was kind of throughout United. I mean, we only had seven shots on target all game and scored five of them, which fantastic efficiency from United, from all the forwards, Mason, Martial, Marcus, fantastic stuff from them three. Um, and on the, on the flip side of that, even though Leipzig at times were getting into the game and looked dangerous, we restricted them to two shots on target all game. That's a side that edge possession as well. And I think probably territorially wise, up until the subs came on, were pretty dominant. Because United struggled to get out of our own half. So to limit them to two shots, or two shots on target, I think that's really, really commendable for the for the back line. And it's another another clean sheet for United. Off the back of that Chelsea one. So it's clear that that, se that side seems to be improving for us. But I think you've got to give full credit, not only to Marcus Rashford, but to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Because, again, like I say, he got his tactics spot on, he got his starting eleven spot on. Nobody thought about going with a midfield diamond, except maybe me about five years ago. But Ole shuffled his pack, and I don't blame him for going with the diamond. We have an abundance of good midfielders. In the space of 12 months, Oli has turned our weakest point of our squad, which was the midfield 12 months ago, into our strongest part of our squad. So utilise them all. We've got six, for what could arguably be first team central midfielders. Use them. Use them. And that's exactly what we did. That he did this time. And a brave call to do it as well in such a, in such a big game. Um, and it worked flawlessly. And he subs change the game yet again. So for all these who are saying that, oh, he's a PE teacher who's got no tactical tactical nose, well, I'm sorry, but he's dicked Pep three times in the space of 12 months. He's dicked Frank, the media darling, in th three times in the space of 12 months. He's, di he's dicked Jose Mourinho. He's dicked 
Thomas Tuchel twice in the space of 18 months. And now he's dicked the most promising young managerial tactician master mastermind there's ever been in Julian Nagelsmann. So it's time to put some respect on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's name for me. Um, and it gets, sets us up really nicely for that game against Besiktas, the double header that starts next week, I think it is, and the Arsenal game at the weekend, which will obviously do a good preview of that. As far as man of the match, I mean, there's so many to choose from. I thought Fred had a good game, uh, even though he gave the ball away a couple of times. I thought he's really good when he's he's almost like our ratter in the middle of, in the middle of the park, just getting in, nicking those balls, and getting United on the front foot. And I think in games where we're putting the pressure on, which I, that was something I loved today from United, where they were the ones, Leipzig, who were pressing us. They were pressing us hard, especially after we, we scored. But when Oli made those changes, United did exactly what, to them what they were doing to us. We were pressing them because they pushed so many men forward to try and get the equaliser. And we pressed them, we pressed them, we pressed them. And I thought Fred was integral to that. So I, thought, I think Fred deserves a shout out. I thought, um, I thought Martial looked lively, um, just didn't get the ball enough in the danger. I thought Mason looked good and took his goal really, really well. I thought Van der Beek showed some really nice touches. Again, probably would do better when we're dominating possession a little bit more. Uh, I think his movement further up the pitch would be good. I thought Pogba looked like the best he's looked since he's come back um, from his, his injury that kept him out up until the restart. So I think that was a plus. I thought Luke Shaw looked good at left back. But but for me, Wan-Bissaka, I thought in the first half, I thought he was phenomenal. He did not miss a beat at right back. On top of following that game, against PSG where he was flawless. He was just as good, if not better, tonight. Every single thing that came down that area, he was flawless. So for me, he gets man of the match. I mean, you could shout out Bruno as well, who came on and just controlled and ran the game when he came on. And then that's not even speaking about Marcus, who goes and bangs in the first at-trick at United since Robin Van Persie. In 2013, I mean, we're not even getting started into that. But, yeah, just a fantastic, fantastic performance and result. And it's about time we started putting some respect on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's name. But, can't be happier. Two wins out of two. Five nil. Uh, five goals. Clean sheet. Rashford that trick. Mint. But... Drop a like on the video if, you, if you're absolutely buzzing at that. Let me know who your man of the match was in the comments. And does Marcus Rashford deserve a knighthood at this stage? Let me know in the comments section. But uh, like I said, drop a like. Go and follow me over on Twitter, at Mr. Cy Whitworth. And I'll see you lot in a bit.